response to our wolf video some of our viewers raised the issue of alphas in wolf packs, and we thought that it was worthwhile to delve deeper into this subject. The concept of alpha wolves originated with the work of researcher David Meck in the 1970s. Meck conducted some of the first studies of wolf behavior in the wild, and he observed that captive wolves formed rigid social hierarchies, with one dominant alpha wolf leading the group. This theory became popularized in books and other media, and was widely accepted for many years as an accurate representation of wolf behavior. However, later research has shown that the idea of alpha wolves is not accurate when applied to wild wolf packs. In the wild, wolf packs are typically family units consisting of a breeding pair and their offspring. The breeding pair is typically the oldest and most experienced members of the pack, and they are the ones that make most of the decisions for the group. However, they do not exert strict dominance over the other members of the pack in the way that an alpha wolf was previously thought to do. Instead, wolf packs tend to have a more fluid social structure. Individual wolves form alliances and work together based on their individual personalities and skills. For example, some wolves may be better at hunting, while others are better at caring for pups or maintaining the den. The roles that individual wolves play in the pack can change over time, depending on their age, health, and other factors. It is worth noting that David Meck himself refined his own research on the subject. Wolves also exhibit cooperative behavior, working together to hunt and care for their young. There is a lot of communication within a pack, both through vocalizations and body language. Wolves use a variety of sounds, such as howls, barks, growls, and whines, to communicate with one another, and they also use body postures and facial expressions to convey information. It's worth noting that the concept of alpha behavior is not unique to wolves. Dominance hierarchies have been observed in many other social animal species, including primates, birds, and even fish. However, the idea of a strict dominance hierarchy led by an alpha wolf has been shown to be inaccurate when applied to wild wolf packs. Overall, while the concept of alpha wolves was widely accepted for many years, it is now clear that this idea is not an accurate representation of wolf behavior in the wild. Instead, wolf packs have a more fluid social structure with individual wolves working together based on their individual personalities and skills. Resources will be listed in the video description.